Hello everybody, it's I, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to In Miko We Trust. We're Vice President uh, at Solio, but and this is the Secretary of Defense, Futo. Right now, I think we're about to head back to her office. Off to the lounge all day to about what? Off to the lounge about all day while Lady Miko tires? Uh, she pays me to be boring, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Very well! I wish you a good day, sir! Uh, you too, Secretary of Defense. I leave the door open behind me just a fraction after I leave so I can listen in when she thinks I'm gone. Within seconds, I hear the familiar swishing sound of the globe. <laughs> I hear Portugal is nice this time of year! Okay, meant to note, definitely do not leave Futu by herself. Not just for her sake, but for the sake of the world as a whole, especially Portugal. I take my time on the way back to my office. It's not like there'll be any work waiting for me. Ooh, what nice chairs. Can I go over there and rub my hand over it? And be like, so many butts have sat on these. And now this butt, butts, butts, will sit on it. The corridor's awfully empty. It feels almost creepy as I tiptoe across the marble floors with nothing but the sounds of my footsteps. Hmm. A tingle runs down my spine. I'm sure there's no one in the corridor right now, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm, I'm being watched. I turn to look behind me. Nothing. The stairway? Nope. The chandelier? No. That's ridiculous. Man, I think I need to take a nap. All this pressure, it's getting to me. Uh, wait, wait, what? What? Something sneaks up behind me and my vision goes black. I gasp, ready to cry out in panic until a voice tickles at my ear. Guess who? Damn it, I should have guessed. This isn't funny. You almost gave me a heart attack there. Uh, who almost gave you a heart attack? Come on, kid, play along for me. I feel something fur. Oh, I feel something soft and furry rub against my thigh. Oh, I'm getting a hand job from a bear. No claws, please. I don't have any choice in the matter, do I? Oh. Damn it, molesting bat. This is not appropriate. Uh, let go, Mamazoo. I don't know how to pronounce that. Very good. Uh, ten points for you for Gryffindor. The hand blocking my eyes moves away. It's a few seconds before my vision comes back into focus. When it does, oh, there's a woman standing in front of me with an unassailable cheer and aura of mischief. A large leaf sits on her head in the place of a hat, and a bushy raccoon tail swishes around behind her. That's huge. Uh, once this would have surprised me, but it's amazing what you can get used to with time. Ah, uh, you're catching on now, kid. Now, uh, you almost saw me before I could jump you today. What? If I manage to spot you next time, will you stop bothering me? Uh, of course not. That means I'll have to try harder. Thought so. Worth a try, at least. This is, uh, Mamazu Futasuwa. I can't pronounce any of these names. She's currently the director of the Central Intelligence Agency. As you've probably guessed by now, she's not exactly human. Somebody fucked a rack. She's a Tanuki, a shape-shifting trickster spirit from the same region as Miko. Of course, she only shows her true colors in front of me. To everyone else, she's a stern but efficient supervisor who keeps the wheels of the country turning. Though there are rumors, she's always also something of a loan shark. Apparently, we don't want to borrow money from her. I don't want my kneecaps busted. So, I uh, heard you're doing Miko's babysitting for her. That's not... Okay, well, maybe that is the right f uh, phrase to use. What was she thinking, putting Fudo in charge of defense? Well, the girl was going to want to burn something down anyway. We may as well let her do it in a way that we can keep an eye on, right? Oh, not to start a war. I nod. That doesn't make a twisted sort of sense, actually. The thought of Fudo acting of her own volition is enough to spook me. Whoa. Light it if you got it. I don't think we're supposed to be smoking pot in the White House. Ah, uh, but enough about the saint and her sidekick. Let's get high, motherfucker. Wait, no, why don't we talk about you, asshole, you Me, uh, what is there to talk about? Ah, uh, still playing dumb, huh? Not sure who you'd think we're, you're dealing with, but I'm not gonna fall for your little masquerade. She's still trying to push this? I thought three months would have been long enough for her to give it up on me. For the last time, Mammy, I don't have any deep, deep dark secrets. I mean, I, I used to wet the bed when I was a kid, but that's it. Really? That is interesting. What's what's interesting? Uh, bedwetting is a common trait in serial killers. Winkies. Oh, I didn't kill anybody. Uh, you haven't murdered anyone, have you, assholeio? 
Was that how you usually ask? Is that CIA interrogation techniques? Oh, of course I've not murdered anyone. Ah, oh, look who's all getting defensive now. Did I hit a sensitive spot? You can touch me in my sensitive spot. I'll hit your sensitive spot, all right. And I don't mean in a sexy way. I'll smack you right across your freaking nose. Look, I really don't have time for this, okay? Leave me alone. All right. I know when a suspect isn't going to talk. Anyway, I got this delicious weed to smoke. But mark my words, Mr. Butts. Whatever it is you're hiding, I will figure it out. There's no way anyone could be as ordinary as you. And someday I'm going to prove it. Dude, I'm just boring. I'm sorry. She walks past me, and when I turn around, the corridor is empty again. It's like she's a spook. Ah, see? It's a... God, I hate talking to her. It makes me feel like I'm going crazy train. She always waits until I'm alone, so there's no point going to Mr. or going to Miko or Fudo for help. I don't think you'd ever go to Fudo for help. You'd be like, Fudo, someone touched me. And Fudo would be like, let's blow up Portugal! And you're like, I don't... What did you say? Well, whatever. She can dig all she likes, but I've got no secrets to share. After all, that's why I ended up in this position, isn't it? The boring vice president. Ah, that's the White House rooster who wakes up all of the presidents. Roar! So, freaking doll! Uh, being vice president means I pretty much have no formal responsibilities. I have to stand in for Miko if she can't serve, but that's never going to happen. I'm also meant to listen in on Senate meetings, but that's dull as dishwater. Don't even get to vote unless the score is tied, so there's no point in going. So I spend all my time sitting in this crummy little butt office. I don't even have a TV to distract myself with. We could get a TV. I mean, that wouldn't be that difficult. Just a bunch of photos and a typewriter that doesn't work. I almost miss the secretaries yelling at me now. At least then I had something to worry about. Now I feel like I'm in solitary confinement. So we need to get a tin can and like rub it up against the window. Rub it up. I don't know what it's like to be in prison apparently. Ah, I can't take this anymore. I push myself off my butt seat. Responsibility, schmoss, responsibility. If I have to sit in this room for five more freaking minutes, I'm going to lose my mind. I need something to do, anything, but what? Well, I could be the good president and check on Miko, see if she needs help. I could go check on Fudo, or I could just go for a walk. I think I'm going to go check on the crazy Secretary of Defense. I wonder how Fudo's doing. Probably a good idea to check up on her. I'm sure she's doing something relatively harmless. She's probably giving arms to people in some country. Treason! Treachery! Debauchery! I'll have none of it! Well, can I, I'll have a little debauchery, just a little bit, please. I stand extremely corrected. Fluto's arms are flailing about, running around the war room at full speed. On one hand, I should really find out what's going on. On the other hand, I can already tell this is going to be trouble. I'll find them, I swear! I'll find all the miscreants responsible for this and send them to the firing squad! Then they'll throw their bodies in a bonfire to be safe and, um... Fudo. What's wrong? Ah, Sir Butts! At last, an ally I can rely on! Fudo runs up to me and grabs at my collar. She's so short that she has to stretch her arm all the way up to get a decent grip. Sir Butts, I'm the target of a mutiny! We're not at sea. The secretaries and officers have been bragging to each other about how they'll throw me about and punch me out of the office. Well, you are kind of small. But w they what? It's true, I swear! Whenever I go for help, I'm laughed at and left to fend for myself. I can't trouble Lady Mickey. Miko with this. You're my only hope. Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. I've got no idea what she's talking about, but she doesn't seem like she's making it up. How could she be so um, worrisome that she might invade Portugal, but she can't deal with her own secretaries? You're hundreds of years old. Haven't you learned how to deal with people yet? I better find out what's going on. All right, Fudo, exactly what did they say to you? Well, they were talking to me specifically. They just discussed kicking me around as if it were some sort of sport. They called it football, I think. All right, that's kind of clever. That's kind of clever, I got to admit. Uh... Eh, Sabatsu, you all right? 
Yeah, I'm trying really hard not to laugh right now. I know exactly what she's misinterpreted, but if I tell her, it'll ruin the joke. What should I do? Now, let's tell her the truth. It's never fun to be left in the j dark and be the butt of a joke. And we should know, we're Mr. Butts. Fudo, it's all misunderstanding. No one wants to hurt you. Hey, They're not talking about Fudo ball. It's called football. As in a sport you play with your foot, and sometimes your hands, and you tackle big men. There's a lot of violence, you'd like it. So, when they say they're going to punt? They were talking about the game, not you. It's all right, Futo, they're probably watching the game. Oh. Ah, what a relief. I was frightened the whole world was turning against me. Not yet. She smiles so innocently, totally unaware how silly of a mistake she just made. I guess English isn't her first language, but still. Uh, anyway, are you going to be all right now? I wish I would have given her a Henry Kissinger type voice. Yes, I think so. Thank you for informing me, Sir Butts. The others seem to enjoy teasing me, so I appreciate you being honest. Oh, I've made a friend. Well, I just figured you could use the help. Honestly, I was worried what would happen if I left her to herself, but I probably shouldn't say that. In that case, I'll show myself out. Have a good day, okay? I will, thank you. Me, this is the way out. Thank you, me. You're a delight, me. You're quite a sexy. Get your hand away from there, me! I feel proud of myself as I leave the war room. My good deed of the day fulfilled. Futo should be relatively calm now. Well, that's a bit of an embarrassing, I mean, uh, embarrassing! I'll have to cancel Operation Burn the World then! Whoa! We just saved the world. What? It's a good thing we went and checked on her. The president should thank us. And then she should spank us. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a that rooster. I'm a giant cock. Don't say anything. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I stomp back and forth across the length of the press room. I'm not very good when it comes to these situations. But at least I'm not breathing into a paper bag anymore. Well, if you don't want to do this, just rip up the floor and turn it back into a pool room. Still, what could be so uh, important to need a speech now? A few days ago, we received intelligence about potential terrorist activity in Washington. There have been sightings of a suspicious figure shuffling around the White House, but they've evaded capture so far. Miko's, it's probably John Kerry trying to get back in. Miko's advisor told her to stay hidden until the hitmen were caught. Miko decided to flip that advice on its head. Not only is she showing her face, but her butt. She's giving a full speech to the press. <laughs> That was her butt talking. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh manly man man, oh Scott Manly. I'm nervous. Of course I'm nervous. I know my history. Four presidents assassinated. I really don't want to make that five. Then I have to be president. Wait, wait. As Holy butt, you could be the next Teddy Roosevelt. I can't just stand here. How am I supposed to help? Um, I can find... Mamazoo, examine the security detail or check up on Miko. Uh, I'm torn between the, the middle one and the latter one. I think we're going to examine the security detail. I need to, I just need to convince myself everything is fine. I'll go take a trip to the war room. Fudo will be as worried as I am. She won't let her boss end up in trouble, will she? Fudo, are you busy with anything? Try to assassinate my president, will you? Good sir, I will make you regret every decision you have ever made in your miserable little life. I freeze in place. Fudo is currently struggling under the weight of about half a dozen guns strapped to her waist. Oh, Fudo. Secretary of Defense doesn't mean you have to go shoot people. It means you order other people to shoot people. I can see a shotgun, a SMG, and is that a grenade launcher? Just you wait. I will fill you so full of holes, you'll be able to fuck you from any direction. The coroner will mistake you for a sponge. That'll teach you for challenging the crown prince. Uh, Fudo, what are you doing? Wait, Miko's the guy? Oh, man. Isn't it obvious, sir? But I'm preparing myself for the ass ass in. I think it's assassin. That too. You're the secretary of defense, not a soldier. Don't you have a security team to keep the boss safe? 
We spend billions and billions of dollars every year. You should have some soldiers. The security team? Cowards, the lot of them! Why, they even refused my orders when I told them to plant mines under the audience seats! All right, Fudo, that might endanger the president when the press corps sits down and explodes and shrapnel shoots everywhere. Not to mention that's going to be very bad press. You know, but that's another problem. But we'll deal with it one step at a time. I can't let Fudo go out in front of the press like this. It'll be a PR disaster. Well, what exactly should I do? I could take the guns away. That'd be the logical thing. Or I could share the load? America calls to me to take my right to bear motherfucking arms. I can't just tell her to stop, but I can't walk her walk, let her walk out like that. Looks like it's time for an American compromise. We're going to get a lot of votes in Texas when we run for re-election. Want some help then? America, you look like you're struggling with the weight. Really? Well, perhaps the heavy weaponry is beyond some of, someone of my stature. If you don't mind... She leaves me with all the unconcealable items, the grenade launcher, the shotgun, all of those. By the end, she's down to a handgun and the SMG, both hidden under her normal dress. I'm going to have to find a good place to hide these, without Fudo knowing, obviously. You have my thanks, good sir! Now, now I can protect Lady Miko without fear of encumberment! Cucumberment? What's that? She smiles brightly, twirling the handgun around. <laughs> oh god, please let the safety be on. When it comes down to it, her desires are pretty simple. To murder people? You you really love your boss, don't you? Of course! I wouldn't have allied with her for centuries if I did not admire her! Don't you all phrase it that way? I know I do. When I talk about my friends, I'm like, this is why I allied with this person. I nod in agreement. I definitely made the right call in not disarming her entirely. Though I'm still a little anxious about how she's playing with that thing. Oh, you can play with my thing, Fudo. Just don't rip it off. Now let us go into battle! I will shoot the assassin down before he is time to blink! Wink, blink, stink. Words that rhyme with ink. What do you mean you already caught him? By the time we get to the press room, one of Mamazoo's goons passes on the good news. They've grabbed the shooter on the way in and he's already been locked up. Well, then we did a great thing. They didn't need us to stop the shooter, but we did stop a PR, and by that I mean pubic relations disaster. Who wants to have some pubic relations? Ah, sometimes you say things and you regret it instantly. Miko's speech is going to go unchallenged. Normally that would be a good thing, but... Ah, oh, I just wanted to help Lady Miko. Poor girl, she looks like she's ready to cry. She really wanted to be the hero of the day, didn't she? Don't worry, Fudo. I'll tell the boss just how helpful you've been today. Really? It's a promise. Thank you, Sir Butter. Thank you! Just like that, the childish grin is back on her face. She can't stop smiling. I don't want to anymore! I can't stop it, though! As she watches the speech, eyes never moving away from Miko. Ooh, she's got a crush on the president. She's a weird one, to be sure. But for some reason, I feel like I want to see more of her. Are we getting a crush on the Secretary of Defense? I've never played a game before where you could have a crush on the Secretary of Defense. Um, another relatively slow day at work. Well, might as well jerk it under the desk for a while. Oh, JFK! JFK! Moon launch! I managed to get a TV installed, so at least I've got something to distract myself with. Still, I feel like there's something I'm forgetting today. Something really important. Maybe there's a meeting I missed? Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I never have any meetings to attend. I continue to stroll around my office. There's something I had to do. I, I, I just know it. But what could it be? My eyes dart around the room, eventually falling on a disheveled calendar. I haven't touched it, but it happens to be on the right month. Let's see, today's the 7th of February, so... Oh. No. Oh, no. Oh, no! It's the boss's birthday! Of course, how did I manage to forget? I know she doesn't make a big deal of it, but everyone knows when her birthday is. Oh, I didn't even get her anything! I'm gonna look so bad when she finds out. Oh, God. Okay, asshole, calm down. Calm down, deep breaths. <sighs> Deep breaths. 
Oh. Oh, too deep, too deep, creepy deep. Okay, I can salvage this. I can salvage this. There's still time. I'll just find something nice and give it to her, and she won't file, fire me for being a heartless brute. Uh, but what can I get her on such short notice? I don't even know what she'd want. Maybe I should ask someone. All right, everybody. Next time, we're going to either ask the president directly what she wants, go ask Fudo what we should get the president, or ask uh, the CIA director, uh, Mamasu. I don't know who I'm going to ask. I don't even know. What, what do you get the most powerful person in the world? Cufflinks? I don't know. I hate cufflinks. <laughs> so, that's not what I expected to end it on. Thank you for watching, everybody. And um, I'm so glad we helped save the president from a PR disaster. I'll see you next time in In Miko We Trust.